Hello, welcome to this series on aircraft stability. In this series, we're going to learn how the wings and the stabilizers of an aircraft work together to provide for forces that are predictable and automatically adjust to disturbances apart from control inputs. So that allows the pilot to predictably fly the aircraft through any conditions. So we're going to focus mainly in this series on pitch stability, which would be an interaction mainly between the wings and the horizontal stabilizer to provide for stability in pitch. So let's get started. In this video, our goal is to develop a physical understanding of aircraft stability and control, starting with what we've learned about airfoil coefficients of moment, lift, and drag. So here we have a fairly typical configuration for an aircraft. We have ailerons for roll control. So these might deploy like that to roll the aircraft this way and vice versa. Can deploy the other way too. And we have on the empennage area of the aircraft, we have a vertical stabilizer and a rudder for yaw or lateral control and stability. So a stabilizer provides stability to always return the aircraft towards, towards the direction it's flying laterally. And the rudder can deploy to one side to cause a controlled input to yaw it one way or the other. So like this, we would be yawing this way. Like this would be yawing the other way. So we also have a stabilator, which is a combined horizontal stabilizer and elevator. So the whole wing can rotate as one. And that is for pitch control and stability. So if we deploy it like this, the aircraft is going to pitch up. If we deploy it like that, the aircraft is going to pitch down. So the point of this video, by the end of the video, is to understand why we end up with, what's the reasoning for a configuration like this and each of these control surfaces and stabilizers and why is the empennage in the after the aircraft commonly? So let's start with out an empennage and just with a fuselage and wings and see what we can do from there. <laughs> 